What's up, Joe fans? Duke45 here, and I'm giving you a first look at Captain Gridiron. He was a mainstay in the Deke animated series. He kind of replaced Duke as the field leader, um, so he definitely had a big role in the uh, Deke animated series. The Deke animated series, as bad as it was, I really enjoyed a lot of the characters that made appearances in there, and Captain, I Captain Gridiron was one of those. Right off the bat, let's take a look at the figure here. Let me uh, move the file card out of the way. So you guys can get a good look at the figure. So, this figure, I will just say right off the bat, is very well done in my opinion. I like the part selection very, very much. They made uh, good choices in, in what they used for the arms, the legs, even the calf area. They really did a good job on that. Uh, not to mention the head sculpt. There's a couple head sculpts that get overused time and time and time again. And I was really worried that this figure was going to have one of those sculpts. It did not. Not to mention, I don't think I've seen this helmet before. Um, this football we've seen with Red Dog, but they painted it gray. And uh, the other parts are all you know, good parts that I've liked in other figures. Um, let's pop this helmet off real quick so you guys can see. And there you get a look at Captain Gridiron minus the helmet. And uh, for those of you keeping score that is the retaliation lift ticket head but with some blonde hair so that's a good choice I don't think we've seen that that on other figures except for lift ticket I might be wrong but I haven't come across it in all the figures that I've seen um, the vest is from Renegades Duke the arms are from Pursuit of Cobra Beachhead which is one of my favorite figures they are very poseable they move really really well Hold, we hold weapons very nicely. They don't have that wrist joint that I usually require to uh, you know, say I'm happy with a figure. But in this particular case, that's okay. Because this, the arms on this, and I'm not sure why, just maybe the way the, the joints are lined up. But the arms are super poseable on this one. And look at that. See, can you see he actually can get his finger right there inside the gun to pull the trigger. And he holds it well. You can look on the other side. There's some Captain Gridiron finger poking through. So that is a nice touch. Here's the football. Gray football. Um, it did not come with a set of footballs. I know Fun School Ronnie was asking about that. Uh, he does not. He just comes with the uh, the one football, and it is painted gray. Um, taking a look elsewhere, aside from the arms, the torso is made up from the alternate steel brigade. I'm sure other figures have used it, but it's kind of like the thermal shirt. Um, and then the legs, these are pretty standard pilot legs. We see them in the paratroopers a lot, like crazy legs, uh, lift ticket um, from the retaliation line, um, data viper. So it's a pretty common use of, of legs on there, but they didn't cheap out and give you the same legs all throughout. They went with retaliation legs. Now these are the legs that were used on those ultimate Duke, ultimate Flint figures as well as mouse. And um, I like them a lot because the ankle joints are circular, they're kind of like a human's. So they bend just like a person's ankles, you know, inward, outward. And that is when you're posing the figures, that's kind of a nice touch to have the ability to bend the ankles in and out like that. Um, as far as the mobility of the figure, you know, excellent mo mobility. He can go all the way around. It's a little hampered by this, this vest, but um, that's okay. It, it, it does go around if it needs to. He also comes with this holster with a pistol in there. So those are the only accessories that he comes with are these guns, or the gun, the, p the pistol, the football, and the helmet. Uh, I'm not concerned, or it doesn't bother me. It didn't come with a lot. What he comes with is, is good stuff. And you don't need extra accessories on this figure. He kind of, you know, he works on his own. He stands up nicely. It's, this is going to be and I'm just gonna guess right now this is going to be an expensive figure very very soon there's already like demand for it um, people trying to acquire these before they were even released offering trades offering you know to buy them from if somebody had an extra one and if you were to go on eBay right now and try and, and you know purchase one it's already touching triple digits for some people I don't think that's going to come down I, I really think this is going to be a figure that people have been wanting because keep in mind they have not made a Captain Gridiron in the modern line at all yet so this is the first one and because the the line's ending this is the only one so if you want Captain Gridiron you're gonna have to get them from somebody who bought them in the uh, figure subscription service that I think will probably drive up the price so if that's something that you want 
you're probably going to want to look into that and maybe ask for it from Santa. On top of that, it's a great figure. It's not a figure that you were looking forward to, and they use kind of cheap parts, and and um, it didn't turn out well. I think this figure, at least for, for, my, for my mind, my money, I like it a lot. I think this might be one of the best figures to come from the FSS 8, um, in my opinion, of course. It's going to be hard to find something that's going to top this one in terms of look and posability. I mean, I, I just had it out and kind of moving it around and everything. And he holds, like I said, the weapons nicely. He stands properly. Just a, a good-looking figure overall. Not to mention he was pretty popular. People like Captain Gridiron. So that is uh, something to keep in mind if this is a figure that you want to get. And I'll give you a quick look at the uh, card art. Back it up a little bit. There you go, the card art. Not bad at all on that one. And then, of course, the file card, which is located in the back where it always is. You guys already know all that. I will dive into this more when I do an actual action figure review on it. This is just the first look, so you guys get a chance to see it and see if maybe this is something you want to try and pick up. So, anyway, that is a first look at Captain Gridiron. I'll be back tomorrow with a first look at Bulletproof, the other figure included in the FSS shipment number two. That'll be tomorrow. Thank you guys for all the support. Um, everything, it re means a whole lot that you guys tune in and, and want to watch this stuff. Um, I appreciate the comments, questions, uh, input. It, it's, it's awesome. I love it all. Thank you guys so much. So until next time, yo Joe.